Hi everyone! Welcome back to another video on the iMyPhone channel. Does your iPhone keep showing the Apple logo and then turning off? It's really annoying because you aren't able to access any of the important data stored on your iPhone. So today, I'm going to introduce several fixes for this issue. Let's get started. Choice 1. Force restart your iPhone. Choice 2. Restore the iPhone with recovery mode. Choice 3. Use an iOS repair tool. Let's begin with the first solution. Force restart the iPhone. This method varies between phone models. For efficiency's sake, I'll only show you how to do it on iPhone 8 or later models. If you have another iPhone model, then you can go to the video up on the top right corner, which includes more details about different models. For iPhone 8 or later models, you should first press the volume up button and then the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button. Don't release it until you see an Apple logo on the screen. If it works, then your phone will go back to normal after rebooting. However, if the problem still exists, you can try the second solution. Restore the iPhone with recovery mode. But bear in mind that this method will erase the data on your phone. If that is alright with you, then you can continue with this method. Before restoring the iPhone with iTunes, we need to put the phone into recovery mode. Similarly, we'll only show the steps about iPhone 8 or later models here and the video on the top right corner will show details on all models for you. Now you need to keep your device connected to the computer for the whole process. For iPhone 8 or later models, press and release the volume up button, and then press and release the volume down button. Finally, hold the side button until the recovery mode screen shows. The iPhone is now in recovery mode, and you will see several options on the iTunes screen. Some people will see the update button and restore button then you can choose either of them to tackle the problem. However, I recommend choosing Restore. Although it will erase all your data, it can also solve the issue more thoroughly. Just tap it and wait for several minutes. After the process completes, you can restore the data from previous backups so you get most of your data back on your iPhone. If this method solves the problem, you'll have your working iPhone back afterwards. Because the problem of the Apple logo appearing and then turning off is frequently caused by software glitches, an iOS software repair tool may help you solve the issue. So we come to the third method. Use the iMyPhone FixPo. It is an iOS repair tool which can fix your phone with several clicks, and your data will be kept as well. Now follow the steps below to see how to fix the problem by using it. Before that, please make sure that you have downloaded and installed iMyPhone FixPo on your PC or Mac. I've put the link in the description in case you need it. After launching the FixPo, you can see three options available, and you can see the standard mode helps to solve various iPhone problems. Click it. Then connect your iPhone to the PC or Mac and click on Next to get your device detected. As your iPhone is not in a normal state now, you need to follow the instructions on the screen, or the steps showed before, to put your device into recovery mode or DFU mode. After the software detects your device, you can choose a proper firmware for your iPhone and then click Download. Finally, select Start to Fix, and it will begin repairing your iPhone. Now you can see your iPhone is back to normal again with all your data kept. Isn't this a quick and easy way to repair your iPhone problem? It solves all the common technical glitches on iPhone. If you're interested, you can download it and give it a try. Okay, I've introduced three methods to solve the iPhone showing Apple logo and turning off issue. And you can choose any one of them to save your iPhone. Good luck to you. If you have any questions, please comment below to let me know how to help you out and what to do better in the future. Bye. See you in the next video.